So in previous tutorials, I have shown you how to check to see if your device supports Android's A and B partition system. And I've also shown you how you can check to see if you are currently on partition slot A or partition slot B. And I wanted to do that so that I could show you this tutorial, which is how to change the current active partition slot. And we, you would want to do this for a number of reasons. For, some, for one, there is a benefit of manually going back and forth from one partition slot to another for things like testing out new custom ROMs or checking out a new update before fully committing to it or you know anything like that because the partitions are just duplicated from one to the other you are either your device is either in slot A mode or slot B mode and whichever mode it's in that's the version of Android that you're going to boot into and I want to demonstrate this with my Pixel 2 XL here which has the dual partition slots and was just updated to the August security patch. So to update to the August security patch, that means the device downloaded the update, installed it to the other partition, and then when you rebooted, you boot, rebooted into that other partition. That means whatever active slot I'm on right now has the August system update installed but if I switch to the previous update then it will have the July security patch which I can show you after changing the active slot and again you would want to do this a main reason that I one of the reasons that I use this recently was that I tried to install an update while maintaining Majisk on my OnePlus 7 Pro and I did something wrong and it led me to a boot loop so instead of having to just restart from scratch and um, unbrick the device, I just swapped the active partition, which put me back on the unboot looped version of Android. The previous version that I was on before, I started to try to install the new version. So it's just a useful little trick just in case you mess something up and want to go back to the old version. It's also very useful if you downloaded and installed a new update and it's got a bug or some type of issue that that you're not happy with you know whether they're you know OnePlus recently pushed out an update that caused a widespread bug you know a lot of times a new update can, can cause battery drain so you, there's always the chance to go back to that older version so right now I'm on the August security patch I'm going to use my previous tutorials which you can find on androidexplained.com to check what my active slot is and then I'm going to show you how to change to the other slot. So just like I showed you how to check what your active slot is before uh, my device is currently in fastboot mode I have run that fastboot git var all command and it's telling me my current slot is slot B. So to change that, we are going to type out the command fastboot space dash dash set dash active equals, and you're either going to do A or B here because our slot suffixes are A or B. So we are currently on B, and just for this test, we're going to be switching to A. We're going to go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. It's going to set the current slot to A so that this time whenever we do the fast boot, our current slot is on slot B. From here, you can either reboot the device using the volume up, volume down, and power button, or you can type out the command fast boot. Say reboot, and that will restart your smartphone. So I'm going to show you that we are now back on the previous slot. We have switched to the A slot. 
But I just wanted to show you first, now that the device has rebooted, we are back to the previous security update where it wants us to install the August update on the Pixel 2 XL. So if you remember, we were on slot B, we changed it to slot A. Now doing that, get var all command shows us that we are on slot A. And again, that's that puts us back on the July security update, which I just showed you. And I can now change this back to slot B and boot up into August's security update. So it's just a little, little nice trick to know how to change whatever your current active partition slot is on an Android device. 